I was born in, uh, in uh, northern Ohio, 1941, uh, did about everything that a farm kid did, played a little basketball, went to Ohio Northern University, uh, met my childhood sweetheart, and uh, married her in 1962. And the bottom left-hand corner is the Matilde brood of five children and 15 grandchildren, and I think we counted last count, we had 12 dogs and 25 cats in the family, too. We don't want to forget those. We also had an economic development activity going on in Dayton a few years ago when we were losing a lot of the Fortune 500 companies like NCR and others, Mead Corporation and others. And we thought that probably the best thing Dayton could do was nurture the business owners that were already there in the community. And that was my kind of my job, is to put together some programs. I believe that, uh, that growth uh, in the economy is going to come from small, medium-sized businesses. Um, the, um, obviously, they're, they're big community leaders, they're philanthropists. And those are the potential people who are going to drive this economy and, 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 and support and sustain this great community we live in. No, no business exists without the customer as the basis for everything you do. Uh, the big problem with most businesses is they don't know who their customers are. I, I really feel good when I see the paw prints, but I'll tell you something. I feel a hell of a lot better when I see the dogs and cats that we feed around the world. That gives me the most joy to know that we are delivering that high quality nutrition to the ultimate customer. I have tremendous respect for the business owner. I have a deep love for the business owner. And I can tell you this, there's no greater thing that you could do for this country and this society is to put your capital at risk and create jobs for other people. Now, I had four dreams in my life. The first was to own my own business. The second was that, that the business would be stand for something. Third was to, if I had any time left and money, to help entrepreneurs to pay back my mentors. And the fourth thing is, how do we use our technology to help feed people better than we feed pets. Well, I was probably involved with, I was probably promoting empowerment before it was popular. Huh. Uh, I just believe that uh, most people do the right things for the right reasons if you put them in the right environment. Great managers are people that cause people to believe in themselves. I believe that everyone should spend a third of their life learning, uh, about a third of their life earning and about a third of their life giving away and I'm in the twilight years if you will and uh, I'm hoping that I can help other people and maybe help them avoid some of the mistakes that, that I made along the way. So anyway, good to know that a lot of you didn't know that, that aileron is the thing on the, on, the, on, the, on the wing of an airplane that gives it its lift and we thought it appropriate as a brand because it also, we're from Dayton which is the home of, of aviation Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and we are trying to uplift small businesses as Aileron is uplifting airplanes. Who do you, who do you look to for perspective? Well, number one is my wife. You know, I've been married 49, going on 50 years, and uh, I got lucky the first time. And uh, she's been my soulmate for more than that period of time and I value her judgment and her perspective, and she's one of these people that will absolutely tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. How often are you wrong? Most of the time. <laughs> I feel good. I, I feel very good uh, about being associated with this fine company. I'm proud to represent its products. I'm proud to say that I'm the leader of, a, of probably some of the finest, not some of the finest, the finest group of people that I've ever been associated with. And to be able to say that I'm leading this group is both humbling and it's also very satisfying.